Hey guys, welcome back to another Transparent Couch. I'm Cody. And I'm Tam. And here on the Transparent Couch, it's not about where you're sitting, but who's sitting with you. All right, guys, so we have a video um, today we're talking about, as you guys can see in the title, we're talking about how we saved our marriage. Yep. So Cody's really passionate about this topic. He was adamant that we talk about this today. <laughs> so take it away, babe. I just feel like it, it, it applies to us recently. And initially, I wanted to jump on here and do a recap of the what 22 days we just vlogged in a row Ooh. but in that i just i thought about some conversations we had mm -hmm. in the middle of those 20 22 days we had to deal with ourselves as y'all know we dealt with candy you have to go back and watch 21 i think mm -hmm. if you want to know what that means but it had us spend a lot of time together and deal with things too so the the number one thing that that i think is helping save our marriage is listen and act not just listen not just talk, not just communicate, but listen and act. Uh, we had a r really honest conversation. It felt like it took forever. I think it was genuinely like two hours, so two and a half hours, uh, about some some things that, you know, she didn't like some things I didn't like, but it mainly came from some issues that was coming from my side, genuinely. And me not just, not just hearing her and defending myself, that's usually my go-to is I, I I try to defend myself at all costs, but I had to come to the realization. I think the conversation helped me come to a realization that if she's telling me or she's presenting issues, number one, she sees my blind spot. So there's stuff that I might not even see that she sees. And she's here to help me, not hurt me. So I don't have to be so defensive when I have a person that's trying to help me and not hurt me. So listening to her concerns and acting on them i think at that point we were arguing every day like about just silly stuff it wasn't even big it was silly stuff and i, I feel like we've maybe argued maybe once or twice over the last couple weeks or so so anyway it's just an epiphany that came to mind everybody talks about communication 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 when it comes to marriage but it's it's not just talking it's acting on what you and your spouse talked about so and I would just say how listening to this and saying, listen and act, how does mm -hmm. that help your marriage? Mm -hmm. If you're watching this right now and you're saying, okay, great, that worked for you all, but how does that help me? Right. Well, I would just say apply that very principle mm -hmm. in whatever situation you're dealing with. If you're dealing with infidelity, if you're dealing with finances, if mm -hmm. you're dealing with, with parenting your children, if you're dealing with not being able to have children, whatever the case may be, whatever difficult situation you're facing in your marriage, apply mm -hmm. this principle, whatever it may be, listen to your spouse, mm -hmm. listen to your partner, and then act upon what they're saying. It's one thing to take it in mm -hmm. and say, okay, I hear you. It's another thing to actually act on what's being self told. If I just using a, 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 a blanket, funny example, but if I tell my husband, babe, I don't like it when you pass gas next to me. <laughs> Right. And I'm to express it. I'm pouring it on my heart. You know, yeah. it makes me nauseous. I don't like being around you when you do it. I gag. And he goes, I hear you, babe. Well, if he turns around and continues to pass gas, now I feel like, A, now I feel in communication wise, I feel like I'm wasting my time being vulnerable with him. Yeah. B, I feel like he's not hearing me because nothing has changed. Yeah. And then C, now I'm looking at him going, do you even really care about me? Mm -hmm. Because I told you how this makes me feel and you continue to do it. Right. You see what I'm saying? And on the flip side, he could be thinking, oh, I still love her. I just, you know, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. Yeah. Whatever the case may be. But when someone, when your partner takes time to express to you something that's bothering you, mm -hmm. you on the receiving end have to make those necessary steps. That's what communication is all about. And... Sometimes, as a, as a spouse, it may be difficult for us to open up. You mm -hmm. may be married to someone that doesn't do well with vulnerability. You may right. be married to someone who doesn't do well with expressing themselves. You may be married to someone who gets freaked out at the thought of telling somebody how they feel. Right. So then, if they take that step and actually step out of their comfort zone and express themselves, and then you don't even follow, follow through with what they're asking or requesting of you, now it's like, wow, like, right. do you, do you even really, really care? And so when you use that example, it's, it's a funny example, right? but when you think about it, it's like, okay, I've expressed to you something that makes me uncomfortable. 
now I've put my expectations to say, hey, I don't want that. But see, mm -hmm. on the flip side, here's here's where I had to learn. If I would express myself to my husband and I would say, Cody, I don't like X, Y, and Z, or this makes me uncomfortable, or mm -hmm. babe, when this happens, I would appreciate if you would speak to me this way or whatever the case may be, right? If he isn't perfect or if he gets it right a couple times and then he slips back into his old, old ways, I immediately freak out and I'm like, we keep having this conversation. And he's like, whoa, like I've been doing good. It's just yeah. this one time. So on the receiving end, you also have to give them the grace to right. correct that. If he's used to farting in my presence all the time and passing gas in my presence, guess what? It's going to take him a minute to mm -hmm. readjust. So there has to be a grace period, a level of grace and forgiveness that you have to be able to be flexible with mm -hmm. to say, hey, I know he's not going to get it right or I know she's not going to get it right every single time. But hey, okay. Right. Do I see the changes? They may not be happening as fast as I want them to, but are they at least happening? Mm -hmm. So you have to, on, on both sides, communication is, is twofold. Yeah. Right? So that's just the example I would And that's how I feel like it would apply to your marriage. Right? Every There is no cookie cutter no. answer for every marriage. Mm -mm. And then the last thing I would say before we wrap up this video is find the language for your for your marriage. Mm -hmm. What's your language? How do you communicate with each other? We've started coming up with code words. We've started coming up with safe words. Cody knows when I say I'm overstimulated, he knows exactly what that means. Mm -hmm. He shuts it down. Boys, go in your room. All right, let's turn the TV off. All right, babe, what do you need? He knows what that means. Yeah. Also with me, it, it, he'll tell me something like, babe, I, 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 need, I need to focus on this. I know that means he's having a, a moment of tunnel vision because he does have ADHD. So he's like, I, and I just, have, I may be irritated, but I step back and I give him his space because I know he he's caught in this and he can't get out of it. So what is your language with each other? Mm -hmm. If I communicate with him and I say, babe, I'm feeling uncomfortable. He knows what that means. So yeah. ex break that down. What does uncomfortable mean for you? If I say, babe, I'm overstimulated, what does that mean? He knows when I say I'm overstimulated, that means it's too much going on. It's too mm -hmm. much talking, too many noises. He knows what that means because I've communicated what that means. So I don't have to keep communicating all of that. I could just use that one phrase. Mm -hmm. I'm overstimulated. So find the language that works for your marriage and your right. household. It, you may not be one that gets overstimulated. You may not be one that, that needs to have tonal vision. Mm -hmm. Your thing may be, I need a moment to myself. Mm -hmm. So you may say, babe, I need some time. And if he knows what that means, if that means you need to be by yourself for 30 minutes or an hour, that means I want a bath. Yeah. You know what that means. So create a language for yourself that when that happens, it's almost like, hey, this is where we are. Mm -hmm. So I would just say that's how it helped us. And I believe that that those two nuggets could mm -hmm. translate into any marriage. Right. Because like I said, there is no cookie cutter answer. No, depending on how you implement it, it depends on the two people that are in the relationship. Exactly. So the principle is there, but depending on how it's implemented, depends exactly. on the people the in the relationship. The principle is the same, but yeah. the execution is different. Right. So anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Of course, if you watch this far, uh, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Like the video so that the algorithm can push it out to more people that might need similar content. And of course, share it with a friend. Uh, we all need uh, encouragement, especially us in marriages. We all need encouragement oh, yeah. and, and, and help. And, and to know you're not alone. You are not you are alone. You are not alone. <laughs> are you here with you? <laughs> When we fall apart, you remember that song? I do, but I don't know. I don't know all the words to it like that, so yeah, I can't. I, I can't sing it with either, you. But so anyway. Anyway, so we love you guys, and we will see you guys In later. The next video. Bye. Bye.